guys and welcome back to my channel. So, I may look a little bit silly to some of you right now. That is because I just got out of the shower so my hair is still pretty damp. I have absolutely no makeup on. But as you can tell by the title, today is the day where we are going to attempt, fingers crossed, to stretch my ears from a 10 to an 8 gauge. We are finally, hopefully, by the end of this video, we will be in the single digits. I am super jazzed about that. This has so far been a pretty easy stretching journey for me, and I don't know why that is. I thought it was going to be a lot more difficult for me, but honestly, and I've never stretched my ears before, like I've never stretched them in the past, I've never, nothing like that. But I think what might have helped me is when I was like a preteen all the way up through high school, I used to wear very, very heavy hoop earrings in my first lobes. So every time I didn't have earrings in, my first lobes were always very kind of like stretchy. I don't know if that makes any sense, but Everyone always thought that I had had my ears stretched before, but they were just like super saggy because I used to wear such heavy earrings in them. That's just a theory. I have no idea if that's even true or not, but just from my experience so far, it's been pretty easy and I think maybe that has something to do with it. I don't really know. If you guys have been following me on Instagram, then you know that I talked about a while ago how this ear, the plug is completely falling through it. So I'm pretty sure with this ear today, we are gonna be able to just dead stretch right through it. And that's kind of an indication. That's kind of how you know when your ears are ready for the next size. Now this one is almost to that point, but it still won't fully come through. So we're gonna see, like, see how it kind of sucks it in, but it doesn't like fully wanna come out yet. Oh, never mind. Do you see it just dangling back there? So today is the day where we are going to stretch up to 8 gauge. I am very excited about it. I am a little nervous because after 8 comes 6 and a lot of people on YouTube and a lot of people have told me that going from an 8 to a 6 is the worst, almost as bad as going from a 2 to a 0. Which by the way for those of you who are wondering, once I do get to a 2 gauge because right now my goal size is 0, once I do get to a two gauge, I am going to be ordering a one gauge in between because people have told me that it's a lot easier of a transition to go to two from zero if you do the one in between. So that is the plan for that um, if it is starting to get a little bit difficult. But I mean, if my ears continue to do it like they are now, then I don't foresee any problems happening here. And the reason why I am filming this video after I got out of the shower is because a lot of people have told me that it is easier to stretch your ears once you get out of the shower because the warm water kind of makes your skin a lot more loose and easier to work with. So in the shower, I basically just washed my ears really good, gave them a nice little massage, got out, and here I am. So if you guys wanna see me stretch my ears up to an eight gauge today, but let's get to it. All right, so I did move you guys in pretty close. Now, I know I don't have the best skin. I am no perfect person over here, so you'll just have to kind of forgive the way I look, but this is how I look every time I get out of the shower. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do, where did I put it? First, I'm just gonna take a little bit of hand sanitizer and just put that on my hands. Even though I just got out of the shower and everything's clean, I just want to do it for the sake of this video, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I am going to straight up just dead stretch this one. From my understanding, dead stretching is where you just put the tunnel straight in. You don't need to use a tape or anything. I am going to attempt to do that, but sometimes I find like the little pokey bit of the taper, if that makes any sense. I know I'm not being very technical here, but I do kind of find the pokey end of the taper to be sort of beneficial when it comes to this. Oh yeah. So here's what the eight gauge taper looks like. It honestly looks a lot more intimidating. And then right here we have the eight gauge plug. So you can kind of see a little bit of a size comparison there. Okay, so I am going to start with my right ear because that one seems to be the ear that is most ready. And look at that little hole we're getting. Aw, how cute. You can like see through it now and shit. I love it. Next, I'm just gonna go in with some water-based lube here. I'm gonna take a little bit on the back of my hand. Actually, I'm gonna take some on my finger instead. Put some on my finger, rub it on my thumb, and then I'm just going to rub that on the hole. And then I'm gonna take whatever's left over on my fingers and I'm actually going to rub that on the tunnel right. Woo! I'm actually going to rub that on the tunnel right here 
And let's go ahead and just dead stretch this fucker. Boom! Boom! Boom, bitch! Holy fuck, that slid on so easy. Oh my gosh, that was flawless. And you wanna know what's crazy about all of this? Is I stretched my ears to 10 gauge, like maybe, maybe three weeks ago max. So this hasn't even been a full month and that went in so easy. No pain, nothing. I felt literally nothing. Next, I'm just gonna pop the little O-ring on. There they are. Oh, oh my God, I love them. And then next we have the other ear, so I'm just gonna pop out this 10 gauge, and I, I will try to dead stretch this one, but but if need be, I will uh, use the taper. So again, I'm just gonna take some water-based lube on my finger, rub it on my thumb, and then we're just gonna lube up this ear really good. That's another really interesting thing about my stretching journey so far is my loose side, this used to be my loose side, is now my tight side. So I found that to be pretty interesting. Okay, so dead stretching on this one isn't going to work, so I am going to use the taper for that side. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more lube on my finger and use that on the taper. Demonetized. All right, and then very slowly. All right, so um, this side was definitely a lot tighter. I did feel like a little bit of the burn, as they call it, but it wasn't bad, it wasn't painful. I just went slow and just kind of let my ear do its thing. I am just gonna let it sit there for a couple of seconds and just kind of uh, give it time. But like you guys saw, this one, boom, right in. This one, a little bit tighter when in my previous stretches, it used to be the opposite. Now I'm going to take the tunnel. This is the right one, right? Yes, okay. And I'm just going to follow, boom. Hair in the way. Boom, nice and easy. There is absolutely no pain. I don't hurt at all. Obviously my ears are going to turn red. Come on, just these fucking O-rings. I hate them so much. All right, so there is my eight gauge on my left. Yeah, this is the one on my left ear. Took forever to get the O-ring on, but there it is. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're already at an eight gauge. Like, it feels like just yesterday, like, I started stretching my ears, and now look at this. That's crazy, yo. There they are, guys. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. Usually, from my experience, from, like, my past stretches, my ear does stay a little bit sore-ish for about a day or two, so I am going to, you know, wash it in the shower, do my little vitamin E massages. If you guys want to see a video on how I personally massage my ears, I will have that linked up in the corner. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you go down and give a huge thumbs up. Also, if this is the first video of mine that you are seeing, make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. I do lots of stuff. I don't just do ear stretching videos on my channel. I do piercings, tattoos, beauty, vlogs, ear stretching, you name it, I do it. Make sure you go down and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. I do also upload it every three to four days. I love you guys so, so much. Again, thank you for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.